Okay, let's start with our warm up. We're going to start off with running in place. Let's angle this down a little bit so you see more feet and less ceiling. And punches. Keep your hands up. Keep your feet moving. Last week. Hands up, hands up, feet moving. And shuffle, forward and back. Make sure when you do this, your hands are up. <clears throat> you don't want to get in the habit of doing anything in class with your hands down. And knees. Make sure the standing knee stays bent. Switch sides. And ladder steps. Kicks, front side back. Okay, check your pulse. If you're not up to at least 120, do that set, do that two more times, do that set. Running in place, punches, shuffle back and forth, knees, ladder steps and kicks. At least two times, probably three. You need to get your heart rate up over 120. Okay, once you've done that, you come back to me, we stretch. Reach up. Reach straight out to the front. Chin is up here, back is flat. Not rounded this way, it's flat. You're pushing your chest toward the floor. Reach for the floor. Over to one side, grab your ankle, pull your chest toward your knee. Now an inside stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come to the center, toes straight forward, push your knees up. Other side, grab your ankle. Down in the side stretch. Turn, stretch your hip flexor. Come up, cross one foot in front of the other. Here, 
chin up, reach for the floor. You should feel this in the hamstring, mostly of your back leg. Switch your feet. And then have a seat. Feet out. Make sure your toes are pointing up towards the ceiling. Keep both butt cheeks on the floor. Reach over to one side. So I'm not facing my knee. My ribs are coming down towards my knee. Other side. And straight out to the front. Make sure your toes and your chin stay up. Pull your feet in. Come to a squat. Push your knees out. Rock back and forth. Heels should be on the floor here. Put your hands down, straighten out your legs. And then walk your feet a little bit apart if you need to. Put your hands on the floor. You're gonna tuck your chin around your back and then lift your chin and push your chest to the floor. So tuck and round. And then chin up, chest to the floor. Tuck and round. Chin up, chest to the floor. And up. Okay, so we're gonna do conditioning. Um, I'm gonna go through this series once because you don't need to sit here for 15 minutes and watch me do push-ups. I explain to you what each exercise is. I'll show them to you and then I'd like you to run through the set at least twice, three times would be better. Okay, first one is inchworm push-ups. So when you do an inchworm push-up, you start here, you reach down, you put your hands on the floor. Knees are straight. You walk your hands out. Okay, you can do your push-up on your toes or on your knees. Keep your elbows tucked into your body when you do your push-up. Don't leave them out there. Keep them tucked in here so your elbows are close. Your middle finger should be pointed straight ahead. Okay, so we start here. Hands down, walk them out, push up position, middle finger straight forward, elbows are tucked into my body, push up, and then walk all the way back up and stand up. And again. Okay, that's called an inchworm push up. Save it for a minute. Next thing we're gonna do is just a complete straight body sit up. I'm gonna start here, feet are straight out. My chin is tucked, so my head's not touching the floor and my hands are straight up. Hands are not coming behind me, they're staying towards the ceiling the whole time. I just sit straight up. And I don't just sit here, but when I get here, I reach up to the ceiling and back down. Okay, so there's your core, and we have one more drill for lower body. We're gonna do squat and lunge. So when you squat, you step out, feet are more than shoulder width apart, my toes are straight forward. And I do my squat, you don't wanna be here. You wanna be here so your shoulders stay over your hips. Then when you do your lunge, you step back far enough that this knee is still at a 90 degree angle. You don't want it out past your toes like that, that stresses your knee. So we do squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Squat and lunge. Okay, so you have inchworm push-ups, you have the straight body sit-ups, and you have squat and lunge. I want you to do 10 of each two times through and then when you come back we'll work on the we'll work on the lesson for the week
This month, you guys are getting your strike for speed. So what we're gonna work on now is reaction speed. First, we're gonna put together combinate. You're gonna put together, I'm gonna show you some choices, but then you're gonna put your, together your own three move combination. So the big combination of two hand techniques and foot techniques. So let's see, the first one I'm gonna do, and you're gonna practice these with me, um, but then you're gonna make up your own for the draw. So I'm gonna start with the jab, cross, and a knee. So jab, cross, knee. I'll do it five times, jab, cross, knee. Okay, then I'll pick another one. Side kick, jab, elbow. Side kick, jab, elbow. Okay, so let's find another one. Um, block, ridge hand, roundhouse kick. Okay, so now you're gonna do those combinations with me. So we're gonna face each other and I'm gonna do my first combination. And as soon as I put my foot down from that round, from that knee, you're gonna start. So you're gonna do jab, cross, knee. And as soon as I, you put your foot down, I'm gonna start with jab, cross, knee. And as soon as you put your, I put my foot down, you're gonna start. Okay, so we're gonna do that back and forth. So I'm reacting to you finishing the combo, which is really hard because I can't see you. And you're reacting to me finishing the combo, which is easier because you can see me on the video. So I'm just making up how fast I think you're going. Okay, then what I want you to do is I want you to go find a partner. Find a partner in your house. You're gonna need a whole bunch of partners. You're gonna need everybody in your house for the second part of this drill. But to start, what I want you to do is you and your partner are gonna take turns. So you're gonna make up a three move combination. I did three, you, I would prefer that you don't use those, but make up a combination with two hand techniques and a foot technique. And then you're gonna do it and your partner's gonna mirror it back to you. And you're gonna do it and your partner's gonna mirror it back to you. Then it's your partner's turn, they make up a combination. They do it, you mirror it back to them. So I want you each to do two times. So you make a combo, your partner makes a combo, you make a combo, then your partner makes a combo. Then I need you to get all the people in your house because the drill in the lesson plan is dominoes and you need more than one person to do dominoes, okay? So I'm gonna pretend I'm like four different people right now, okay? But get everybody in your house to practice this. You might owe them brownies or something afterwards, but just deal with it. So I'm gonna go back to the first combo that I did, but I'm gonna pretend that I'm one person, two people, three people, four people. So I'm gonna do the first person does the combo. And as soon as they put their foot down, the next person does the combo. And as soon as their foot touches the floor, the next person does the combo. And as soon as their foot touches the floor, the next person does the combo. And what I want you to do is I want you to go around and keep on going and see how long you can keep it going before somebody messes up and doesn't start right away or starts before it's their turn. Okay, so from each form, if you're... And actually, everybody's going to do these. So um, I'll explain as we go. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start with two moves from basic form one. So we're gonna start with low block, low block and punch. Okay, so in the form you do low block, step and punch. If you wanna do it that way for the drill, that's cool. If you don't want to, you might wanna step away low block and turn and punch. That's what I'm gonna do. I don't, care how you're putting it together as long as you're taking two moves from the form. So we're going to take two moves from act from basic form one and we're going to do them 10 times slow to fast. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Okay, so you're gonna do those one to ten, 
slow to fast. Then I'm going to show you a couple of different choices from each of the other forms. If it is your form, you're going to pick the moves that I'm showing. If it's your form, you can pick any two moves from it you want. If it's a form that's pastures, like if it's your blue belt, you can do two moves from one of the black belt forms as a drill, but you don't know the form, so you're going to do the two that I'm picking for you. So the, the ones that I'm going to pick from Chilsung Ilro are going to be... I like the knee. I'm really partial to the knee. Push, punch, punch. So that's actually one count, but it's four moves. So I'm just going to run them together and call it one move or two moves. So one, really slow. Two, not quite as slow. Three, faster. Okay, so if you're white belt, you're going to do those, those few moves. If you're an orange belt or blue belt or higher, you can pick any two moves from that form. From Chilsung Samro. So if you are, if this is your form or if you're a black belt, you can pick any two moves that you want. I'm going to pick a couple so that if the white belts or the orange or blue belts have techniques to do from this, this, um, this form. Um, let's see. I'm going to start with block, block, side kick, which is three moves, but it's, it's, it's two counts. So I start really slow. Block, block, side kick. And then I'm going to do a little bit faster. Block, block, side kick. And then faster. Block, block, side kick and faster block block side kick okay so a couple of others that i might pick um palm strike and spears so i'm going to go really slow palm strike spears so when you're going slow what you can focus on here is your technique this is a soaker or chassis so my toes are out at 45 my knees are bent I'm going to step forward into chimble chassis and spear. Okay, when you do your spears, if you have your fingers like this, you're going to be hitting just with the middle one. It's likely to hurt. I sort of tuck, so I have three that are all the same height. So I'd be hitting with this whole surface instead of just the tip of one finger. So I go really slow. One. Two. Three. Okay, all the way up. To, so those are two options that you have. Then I'll pick a couple of moves from row high. Um, I'm going to pick a headbutt and a, a, a strike to the inside of the leg or the inside of the knee. So headbutt, strike the leg. And when I do my headbutt, I'm also doing a knee to the groin. Headbutt and knee. Strike the inside of the leg. So a little bit faster. Headbutt and knee, strike the leg. And faster. Headbutt and knee, strike the leg. Um, another move I can do from this form is I'm going to drop my weight into a strike into the knee. And as they fall into me, I'm going to get out of the way of their body and turn punch to the solar plexus. So strike the knee, punch. So I go really slow. One, two, three. Okay, so that's two options from Rohai. Then we'll pick two from Seishan. So from Seishan, somebody's in my face. I'm gonna make a fist like this with the middle knuckle sticking out. And I'm going to hit them at the top of the peck with the middle knuckle. So I'm going to hit them at the top of the peck. Clear my, drop my hands down on the way, and they're going to choke me, and I'm going to come back and break the choke. So punch, get my hands out of the way, break the choke. So really slow. Punch, drop, 
break the choke. Punch, drop, break the choke. So the other two moves I'm gonna pick from this form are somebody is trying to sweep my leg. I'm going to get my foot out of the way, uppercut them, they're really close to me, uppercut them in the chin, and then come down and stomp on their knee and descending back fist on the bridge of their nose. Okay, so really slow. One. A little bit faster. Two. Three. Okay, so if you are a white belt, you are doing, you're picking, you're using, picking any two moves you want out of basic form one, and then one of the combinations I showed you from each of the other forms, 10 times slow the fast. If you are orange or blue, you're picking any two techniques you want from basic form one and show some ill row. One to 10, slow the fast. And then one of the, the combinations I showed you for the other forms. If you're advanced class, two, any two techniques you want from basic form one, chill sung ilro, chill sung samro, 10 times slow to fast, one set from each form, and one of the ones I showed you from each of the black belt forms. And then if you're a black belt, from each form, five forms, two moves from each form, 10 times slow to fast. And if you're sending me video for this class, what I want is not your full form. I want your two techniques from that you picked from your level of form, and I want you to show me them slow to fast. Okay, one steps. This whole cycle we've been practicing Il Six Today Row number five, and this month we're also reviewing number three. So I'll do them both with you, and then I'll explain what I want you to do with them. So we start off with Il Six Today Row number three. One. Two, three, four, and then il succede run number five. One, two, three, four. Okay, then what I want you to do is I want you to do each one of them five times. So the first time is pretty much as slow as you can go without not, well, without it being ridiculous, I guess. So number one would be, uh, number three would be one, two. Okay, so when you're going slow here, you can focus on your stances and your transitions. Three. Four. And then you do it four more times. And each time is going to be a little bit faster than the one before. Then you're going to do the same thing with the fifth one. You're going to start really slow. So you do one really slow, two really slow, three faster, four faster, and five as fast as you can go without either tipping over or tripping over the bricks or losing control of the techniques. So this is probably around, this is, it'll succeed around number five, probably about my fourth one. Okay, so each one five times from very slow to very fast. Okay, there's not a required chuck form, but there are required techniques. So there's a way to put them together into a form and we're gonna practice both the one hand version of it and the two hand version of it. So one hand, I gotta watch out, there's a string here. I just wanna make sure I don't pick out the string on the ceiling fan. Courtesy, step out, bring your chucks here. I'm going to block to my right shoulder. So drop my right hand, bring the left hand outside 
The other one is underneath the elbow, bring it to the corner, two times, let go of the bottom hand, two times down and up, one, two, two triangles. Leave it there, reach under your arm and catch, bring it back to the center and bring it to the other side. Drop the left hand. My, hand, my right hand comes outside the chuck, underneath my elbow, back to the shoulder, two times down and up, and two triangles. Leave it there, reach underneath, catch, pull it out, bring it back to the right shoulder. Four figure eights and catch. One, two, three, four, catch. And step forward with my left foot, high block with my left hand, punch with the right hand. So I'm punching with the tip of the chucks. Front kick, pump front kick, low block. Put your chuck on your right hip. It's gonna go around to the left hip as I step back, hip, bring it back to my right shoulder. Turn back to the corner, just like we did at the beginning. One, two down and ups, and two triangles. Leave it there, reach underneath and catch. Bring it to the other side, two down and ups, two triangles. Reach underneath, catch. Bring it back to the first side. One, two, three, four, catch and courtesy okay so that's for the beginners advanced uh, intermediate class we do the same form but with two chucks so we start here courtesy step out to the right corner bring the chucks up one two down and ups and two sets of triangles then we point to the left corner two sets of down and up two triangles Face back to the front, four figure eights. One, two, three, four, catch. Step forward with your left foot, left hand high blocks, right hand punches, front kick, pump front kick, both of them with the right leg, low block. Careful for the ceiling fan. Put your both of your chucks on your right hip. Spin them over to the left hip, bring one back to the right, bring them back to your shoulders. I'm gonna face back to the corner. I'm going to do two down and ups again. This time I'm going to offset them. And two triangles. Same thing on the other side. Two down and ups. Two triangles. Back to the center, four figure eights. Catch. And courtesy. Okay, so if you're in the top of the Karate Kids class, this month's piece of Kama Set is just Action Karate Form 8. If you're in the Tang Sudo class, technically all you have to know is Action Karate Form 8 part. But um, it's not cool, especially if you have kids in the kids program, if they know this really cool long Kama Set and you only know the last piece. So next month, we'll start working on the other pieces too. We're going to do, right now though, eight. There's a couple of techniques that I want to make sure everybody practices. Okay, there's a place where you strike up. And if you just turn your hand like this, there's not a lot of power in the strike. And if you turn your hand here and you don't get a good grip, there's not a lot of power in the strike. So what I want you to do is you start here. I got a grip on it. I make a peace sign. I put the comma between my thumb and my index finger. Take my thumb, I mean, between my index finger and my middle finger. Then I take my thumb and I put it here and I turn it around and I cut. And then I, I, it continues, okay? The circle's always going in the same direction. So from here, I just make that peace sign again, put it between the peace sign, put the thumb here, turn and grab. If you have a comma with a grip, the grip generally, the top of the grip is generally the balance point of your comma. If you have one without, you have to mess around with it. You might actually wanna put a little piece of tape where your balance point is. But I'm gonna turn it and strike, turn it and strike. Okay, then anytime that there's a punch, okay, we, we can, I mean, from a practical point of view, it's just a striking weapon. But it's often, it's, this is really too light to be used as a striking weapon. So unless I'm using the sharp ones from out in the garage that I we use for gardening, this is a tournament demo type of weapon. So here, it needs to look cool. If you have a death grip, 
Especially if, like me, your wrists aren't very flexible and you have a death grip on your comma that doesn't look cool at all. What I do is I hold it here, just in the V, between my thumb and my index finger. I drop it down, let it come to the outside, bring it up, and strike. There's always a strike at the end. You can go in and out, too. So I can go either out, out, in, in, or out, in, and make a figure eight. But even if I'm doing that, it's not going to go forever. It's not a baton. Okay, so there's always a strike at the end. The more flexible your wrists are, the better this is going to look. So we're going to add that to Action Karate Form 8. Turn it over. This one you don't have to turn over because it's just a quick up and down. Okay, so practice those two things, the switch and the twirl. Okay, or form. I want you to focus on the stances here. So I start here, tend my oars a lot longer. I step back into an, a, a Japanese cat stance. 70% of my weight here, 30 here. Clear space, strike. Basai Chasi strike. Okay, now when I do this move, I move my hands up, switch them. So my left one is now palm up and the right one is palm down. Index in, put my foot, and as I settle into my rear leaning stance, I block. Half a twirl. So the paddle drops to my left side, the other end comes to my right. Then I'm gonna do a whole figure eight on the left, strikes on the right again. Step in, stab, or comes over the top. My hands switch. So my right one is palm up now, my left one is palm down. Index, put my foot, as I settle my weight, I block. Drop the paddle to the right hip, strike to the left. Full figure eight on the right, and strikes the left, step, strike. Index in, step out, rear leaning stance, block. Then I'm gonna drag my foot out to Chungle Chasi, strike, drag it back, block again. Then I'm gonna take my right foot, pull it all the way back. Bring my, it's not a baseball bat, it's not here. It's straight up and down, and my hands are about a foot apart. Strike, strike, and pull it back. Okay, so when you practice that, I want you to focus on that very first cat stance, and I want you to focus on the rear leaning stances, which are not a cat stance. It's hugul chassis, hukul chassis, very different stance. 